Hello. Hi. We're Architects, and uh, you're watching the Kerrang Podcast. Mm. Hello, Architects, Tom, Sam. Uh, tell us all about your new album, Hollow Crown. It's just come out. It's great. Um, don't listen to our other records. No, not. We're really excited for everyone to hear it because you know it's our it's our best record so far. Easy peasy, no no question there, right? Mm. Um, so far, it seems to have got a kind of fairly dandy response, oh, which response. I'm very happy about. Um, <laughs> dandy <I> just... <laughs> response. <laughs> I'm sorry, I haven't used heard the word dandy in a while. So, how long have you been on tour? Uh, is the uh, cabin fever starting to set in? Oh no, it's all right. We're, I wish it was going on for longer. We've, we've been on tour like two weeks or something, and we've only like got it's been like three days or something. We've only got London and Brighton left, so it's kind of sad. Right, yeah. We'll be missing all our friends, and the shows have been amazing. So cool. Yeah. So how much of the uh, Hollow Crown stuff have you mixed into the rest of the set? It's quite a Hollow Crown. It is like, set, surprisingly actually. so. Yeah. It's pretty got. It's Four, five. I would say it's. Oh, I can't even think of a fraction. Forty percent, forty-five percent, Holy Crown. It's quite a nice percentage of new stuff. Yeah. Uh, well, we play the old stuff now, but no one really gives a toss. No, really. Shit. But um, they all like the new stuff, which is fine. I'd rather it be that way around than playing <laughs> the old stuff. Playing the old stuff, yeah. and then we play new stuff, and I'm like, oh, God, what thing? is this bollocks? Yeah. <laughs> Just play the old record card. Uh, yeah. Um, our our sources. Uh, a particularly red-headed source uh, said you made a new friend on the bus last night in Oxford. So, oh, did we? Yeah, the crazy guy. The crazy guy. <laughs> oh, that freak. The guy. That, well, freak strong. He was. <laughs> I've been speaking in kind of some kind of code most of the time. I don't know if I'm fucking word he was. Uh, I swear. Um, <laughs> I don't understand a word he was saying. He was just. He he charmed Ali. And Ali invited him on the bus. But we just smoke, we just lay up a joint outside the bus, and he just walks up, like just stands in the bus, like <laughs> starts talking to us. It's you know, and then Ali, we're just being polite because I'm like, well, I don't know if he's going to inject heroin into me when I'm not looking. Me. I don't know if he's going to stab me, rape me, just be nice to kill him. me, or just hang out. He did but, just, three. but just yeah. outside the bus, you know, that's that's fine. But then when Ali opens the door and goes, Sam, come here, you've got to meet this guy. And, and then going, the guy, I, I kind of tried to block him. Yeah. And, and he was like, no, you've invited me on now. And I'm like, Ooh. Sat down next to me, he goes, you're the singer then, aren't you? And Ali says, you're the singer. And I was like, oh, oh, my bunk's upstairs, I'm going to go now. Um, and then I was like, don't be so rude. And I was like, he's a crackhead. Yeah, you just didn't want to say to someone like that, hey mate. Fuck off. You would, you, would you mind giving the fuck off the bus? Because <laughs> I don't want you, and then, you know, and that's when... Yeah. <sighs> Ali's friends with weird people, you know. He's, yeah. he's a dog dressed in human clothes, of course he is. Is <laughs> he the little hobo? If you, stare into his, if you stare into his eyes, it looks like a dead puppy, so... Yeah. <laughs> um, so do you give Ali a lot of stick? I understand that you say it's his birthday practically every night. Yeah. <laughs> like, actually, that, no, that was just a last night. Two shows this week, you said it's his night. birthday. Last time we had the whole crowd singing happy birthday. And then <laughs> just, Sam just said it's not actually his birthday. Do you realise this is going to play havoc with Wikipedia? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's going to be updated every day for the next Well, season. Ali had a Wikipedia page and got taken down. I, was I made it. Apparently it wasn't relevant. I'm furious. <laughs> furious about it. But I made him a fan page on MySpace. Still. Yeah, Ali gets quite a lot of shit, but he yeah. does deserve it. Look at him. Well, it's not about whether he deserves it. It's what he he stimulates he my does. brain. So I have to I have to offload this kind of he does, energy on him. He does things that really excite Tom and Dan. Yeah. And uh, what kind of things? Uh, just well, the, the way he well, says things. <laughs> just just a few things. Um, the way he talks is one of them. Uh, his hair, the way he plays with his hair, his eyes, um, well, his thing. teeth, they're he does, amazing. He does this little thing where he goes, he like scratches he underneath that, that, and that's, that's just... That's awesome, that's amazing. He, he does um, another thing where his tongue kind when of... When he kind of does that face where he's like... Oh, and he goes, oh... When he's, when he's already exciting. in trouble, when he goes, oh, it's like, oh, you're a dead man. The way he's like really tired in the morning, he's a big slug, and he never yeah. gets out of bed, that's amazing. I never used to be like this with Ali. I mean, Ali's, Ali is a friend of mine, but now I just kind of see him as a toy. Pet. A play, a playful thing. He is my, I'm convinced he's my best friend yeah. of all time. <laughs> What's he doing right now? Is he allowed in buildings? I, am, I imagine he's 
somewhere next to in a park, probably next to a tree, just leg up. <laughs> um, thing is, people wouldn't think it was so weird if he wasn't wearing human clothes whilst doing it. It makes it so strange. It's weird, isn't it? He's looked a lot like a kind of young, dashing Doctor Who on this. He kind of, he's got a kind of, he's, right. a, he's actually shaved in a tash. Just yeah, he's a tash. Tash as he, well. he, grows, he grows awful facial hair. One. I also Two, like, you can't really see it unless you get close, and you get up close and you're like, oh, that's just shit, isn't it? But he loves it, he thinks it's great. Two answers he, looked, he, he knows. Looked at, he looked at Marina yesterday and went, Love so it. the tash, and she went, yeah, it's great. <laughs> probably shouldn't talk about no. Sorry. his relationship. Does, does he think that he's right? some kind of modern day Tom Selleck, you know, in a kind of magnum PA role of the band? If I knew what that was... Then you yeah. don't know magnum PA? Right. Um, I was, I was all thinking about just coming here. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm going to be honest. Oh, you have to check out magnum PA. That is a lot of things. Yeah, I mean, he's, yeah, he's, if you, and no, not many people can be compared to Doctor Who and a dog. He's trying to dethrone God. He is trying to dethrone God. I'm worried about it. <laughs> I'm worried about it because I know that if he if he does become God, he will send me to hell when I die. So I'm just hoping that God remains in in his place. <laughs> so for when I die, because he's a forgiving one, and Ali's obviously going to be like, "Fuck you." The main eternity of torture, eat shit. The main thing that we want for Ali is for him to be a kind of you know Pete Wentz. But he hates it. Yeah. He, we try and push him in the public eye because I think if I can connect with him and he can enrich my life so much, then <laughs> that can work for other people as well. It's kind of like, I guess, kind of like the same way that born again Christians might talk about Jesus, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. But I don't see that as you got unusual. Bass, you got a new bass player when you were you know, born again? And I was born again, yeah. Would you trust him with a Twitter account? Sorry? Would you tw trust Ali with a Twitter account so people can see what he's up to every minute of the day? Oh yeah. I would love to, oh, yeah. God. A little camera on his head. I was thinking about just putting webcam, just a webcam set up in his room, yeah. Because yeah. that way I'll get to see everything, like obviously getting to see him naked and stuff would be cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, how did he cope with the, uh, the American tour last year? Did he? Or yeah, it, well, I understand it wasn't a great time for all concerned, but how did he cope specifically? There was a particular day. I, was there, it was, I think he had a better time than I did. Yeah. But that's only because I was, ex was exceptionally fucking miserable. So, yeah. um, there, was, there was a particular day that was going around. I think it was October 16th. 16th um, <laughs> that was uh, he, a day where Ali was in the band, and all of a sudden he got very, very quiet and very worried. and. We all kind of were like, okay, what's going on? Like, we are. But when he's quiet, it annoys me, yeah. and I have to scream at him. And, oh, that's and we were kind of like, what's up? Everything all right at home? Everything okay? And he was just like, I just don't want to talk about it. Got out of the van, like he was about to cry. Um, he was furious. Didn't tell anyone what was going on at all. And we were just like, oh, it must be some kind of you know. No, I. He told me that it was a body problem. Yeah. But then he took. But then we convinced him to. T he told us what the secret was on Christmas, Christmas Eve as a Christmas present. To body or body? Just a body. Right. So I thought it might be maybe, you know, a leaky nipple. I don't know. <laughs> but um, he told me what it was, and it was just that me and my brother Dan had just really annoyed him. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, he's, there, he's, a, he's an enigma. Yeah. I, can't, I can't read him anymore. Yeah. I feel like I'm drifting. America was a lot of hard work. Yeah. That was very depressing. Tell us about the night you spent next to a trailer park. Oh god. Uh, well we stayed in a, we drove till 7 in the morning. In separate vans because our van broke down. So we were driving To get them. to uh, the bassist of Tony Dan's tap dance extravaganza's best friend's trailer. Excellent. In, I don't know, it. it was a hellhole. <laughs> they probably haven't given it a name. No point. No one wants to talk about it so I'm going to give it a name. Um, <laughs> and we got there at 7 in the morning, it was already light. I hadn't really slept, I'd slept for about 10 minutes. And I took, a, took our stuff into the trailer, and in this, this trailer, and the guy kind of looks, I mean, I don't want to be horrible to him, because he offered this place up, um, just like I would offer up, you know, a hell hole if I had one. <laughs> um, and he had kind of like, he looked like Alice Cooper, but with like, funny like Austin Powers teeth, and like, like a lazy eye. Yeah, Jonathan Davis with, hair as well. Like, <laughs> like crazy broken glasses on. <laughs> I was like, this guy, and anyway, we went in his trailer. Cockroaches. Dead cockroaches yeah. and live ones. Spiders. And a little notice on the table uh, for a sex offender's notice that a sex offender had moved in next door. Carnal knowledge of a juvenile. So, 
So at that point, he we was were, hanging out with him actually. <laughs> we, uh, we, uh, so, so we took all of our stuff out of the house. Yeah, I went in, went out. I dropped my laptop on the floor. It's, that was really, that was just the end of the line. And uh, we decided to walk into town to try and find a McDonald's. And we didn't. I found a waffle house. house. It was garbage. It's what I tend to do when confronted with. Uh, Pedophile is to consume a McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> is that the true comfort food? Yeah, you just need a Big Mac to, you know, get over the uh, it, fear of being touched. It was, it was the worst. And we saw a lot of interesting signs. No pigs for sale. Those we don't rent pigs. We don't rent pigs. Rent a pig. <laughs> I don't know what they do. Oh, with the files around, who knows? Um, and. That was pretty much the whole. That was that, that that was point, all of it. At that point, I mean, how far into the tour were we there? Six days or something. <laughs> the six week tour. At that point, I just felt like dying. So, I mean, we were told that America was going to be great. We were going to love it, and uh, that, didn't, that didn't happen. Don't listen to Bring Me the Horizon, though, hey? Because they're just gargantuan everywhere. Yeah. So not like us. Small you time, lonely scum. You guys going to have such a good time. <laughs> Did we? They said that we'd be surprised how big we were. No, I was surprised how small we were. <laughs> I didn't know Bounce could be that small. No. I didn't know no one had heard of us in a very <laughs> Turns out they hadn't. But the ones that did watch us hated us, so... Right. So, um, on that cheery note, what are your plans for the future? Uh, America, going back. Yeah. <laughs> going back to America. Canada. Canada. Yeah. Going to Europe, we'll come back kids, and Misery Bane signals, or Misery Bane. Signals, Outbreak, that should be a corker. I love, I love, I'm a big fan of Comeback Kid. Um, so much. I can't wait to see those guys play every night anyway, so that should be wicked. Yeah. Um, and then we're trying to sort out a pretty much world tour with Misery Signals. Well, it's so, probably, you know, it's, it's almost happened accidentally. All details will be revealed shortly. Excellent. Well, architects, thank you for letting us into your world, and uh, we hope to have an Ali special. What's the Ali done on URL? Oh, www.myspace.com forward slash the Ali Dino fan page. Is it? It might not have a the in. If the if it says page invalid, just try it without the the. Check it out. It's great. There's a bio on there, uh, photos, fan art. Fan art. <laughs> Most of the fan art's done by me though. <laughs> I think so. But, I mean, there really is quite an in-depth bio on there. I mean, you can really hear about Ali suffering Voschka Schnatters at a young age. Well, it's divided also into Genesis, Old Testament, New Testament. So, as I say, he's got a very kind of godly... He's trying to dethrone God. Think what you will. Watch out. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers.